you're looking for a leasing company to make your wheels go round. With fast, friendly and hassle-free service. Together with flexibility and the best interest rates in town. Let us show you how we can make your world go round. People's Leasing Company. We're the number one in leasing because pleasing people is our number one priority. Remix the way you connect with the new Mobitel Remix. Enjoy free M2M voice minutes, SMS data, fast minutes and 50% discounts on excess data and three fabulous add-on prepaid packages. Dial hash 649 hash to activate. Mobitel. We care. Always. Welcome back to the show. Joining me now is the Managing Director of the Nielsen Company, Shaheen Carter, with the latest on the Business Confidence Index. Now, Shaheen, the BCI has remained um, virtually flat. Uh, could you elaborate on what has led to this? Yeah. Actually, Anushan, it's really, it's not flat per se. It's really, uh, I think in April and May, we've seen the similar sort of uh, indices uh, number on the BCI, but which has actually is after a sharp fall in February and March. So. I would say it's not flat, but rather it's probably plattered at a at a lower level, uh, and we'll have to uh, sort of monitor to see whether you know this is going to sort of pick up or whether it's going to remain at this level or not. If it uh, if the business uh, shocks are not there in going forward in the next few months, I would imagine that the index would really start picking up slow, at least at a slower. Slow level. How about the rupees demise, China? Although it is a thorn in the side of some, others, for instance, the exporter community, feel a weakening currency is a good thing. What is your take on this? I think we need a stable currency to attract foreign investors and also for local investments to investors to and businesses to plan their future investments. Uh, we need to keep our interest rates for borrowers also at a reasonable level. Uh, if you depreciate too much, foreign investors will get less dollars than they originally envisaged when remitting their profits back to their own countries, which will actually deter some prospective investors. So hopefully uh, the rupee will settle on or near current level. One participant of your monthly survey of senior business people says that, and I, and I quote, gas and milk powder prices were raised and this will add to the cost of living. I think we are heading towards dangerous times. And to be frank, government policy measures are not effective, unquote. Our dark times are ahead, Shine. I think we have to keep in mind that there is a global downturn and we too can be in impacted by it. I mean, the, in the whole world, economies are slowing down. Even in India, uh, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, they re reduced the forecast of GDP growth to 6% from 7%. And many developed countries are at 0% or negative growth right now. So our GDP forecast of 7% growth in 2012 looks pretty strong as we are emerging uh, from a war, end of the war, and therefore there's a lot of opportunities for the country to sort of grow. Uh, and if the rupee maintains its value, we may well achieve these uh, numbers. That was Shaheen Carter, the Managing Director of the Nielsen Company with the latest on the BCI. Up after a short commercial break is Samantha Amar Singer with the latest in the economy. The prepaid broadband offer of the year. Now with every new connection, get free data up to 8 GB and 6 months validity for just 2012 rupees. Mobitel. We care. Always. If you're looking for a leasing company to make your wheels go round. With fast, friendly and hassle-free service. Together with flexibility and the best interest rates in town. Let us show you how we can make your world go round. People's Leasing Company. We're the number one in leasing because pleasing people is our number one priority. 
the prepaid broadband offer of the year. Now with every new connection, get free data up to 8 GB and 6 months validity for just 2012 rupees. Mobitel, we care always. Welcome back to the show. I'm Anushan Selvaraja and joining me now is economist with Standard Chartered Bank and LMD columnist Samantha Marasinghe with the latest on the economy. Now, the global economic slowdown is deepening with even China seeing a, a slow second quarter and such events have prompted our central bank to hint that it's already lowered growth projections of 7.2% will not be met this year. Now, how do you view this scenario, Samantha? Well, lower growth is definitely on the cards. Um, the world economic uh, slowdown is far from over. Um, with European recession and uh, the possibility of a Greece exit within the next 18 months, uh, more likely than not. Um, also China seeing a moderation in growth and a slow Q2 um, and anemic growth momentum in the US. So uh, given this bleak backdrop, uh, exports to the US and EU, um, our key export markets will be hit. Um, and also worsening global risk sentiment uh, will also impact our capital inflows. Um, India is also facing uh, tough times with its uh, Q4 fiscal year 12 GDP print uh, at 5.3%, which was the lowest in the last nine years and much worse than market expectations. Um, so it's not surprising then that the central bank uh, has indicated its 7.2% uh, growth target uh, might be missed due to the uh, slower recovery in advanced economies, as well as the slowdown in uh, India and China. Um, our 2012 growth forecast uh, stands at 7.1% uh, with risks, of course, to the downside. How about the rupee? Where will it go in, say, the next two to three months? Now, we know that it has stabilized in recent times, but can it hold its present level? Now, on the other hand, the governor of the central bank recently repeated his belief that we will see a reversal to around uh, 125 rupees to the dollar in the short term. What are you betting on? There has been continued volatility in the markets over the past few weeks um, and we saw the rupee strengthen and stabilize following uh, the Treasury Secretary's comments in early May and it seems to be uh, very much speculation driven and uh, so we see the rupee now back at uh, 130 levels. Um, the authorities uh, have repeatedly stated uh, that they expect the rupee to stabilize below 125 rupees and uh, this to us suggests uh, that some form of intervention will be necessary. Um, we believe that uh, sustained uh, rupee appreciation is not yet likely um, and remain cautious in the short term for several reasons. Uh, perhaps the most significant being that the central bank may uh, use the pickup in inflows as an opportunity to rebuild its FX reserves. Uh, which at end March are at uh, 5.7 billion US dollars or 3.3 months of imports cover. Um, also, the anticipated slowdown in global growth in the second quarter is likely to curb investor appetite for risky assets uh, like Sri Lankan bonds and equities and uh, pose uh, downside risks to Sri Lanka's exports. So uh, we expect the rupee to remain vulnerable um, to upside risks near term before uh, improved external balances uh, lead to a more stable move lower in the second half of this year. Uh, so we're maintaining our forecasts, uh, that's 128 at the end of Q2, 125 at the end of quarter three, and uh, closing the year at 123.5. What is the latest on the balance of payments crisis? What more can and must be done to avert a disaster? Uh, to begin with, I would say that the balance of payments was uh, never really in crisis per se, but rather in a stressed situation. And uh, the latest release of trade data for March shows that there has been improvement and uh, this is largely in response to the package of policy measures implemented uh, by the central bank in uh, the first quarter, um, some of which included the 18% uh, cap on uh, banks, credit disbursements and uh, repeat depreciation. Um, so Sri Lanka's uh, balance of payments deficit has in fact improved to uh, 251 million uh, US dollars in Q1 from a deficit of uh, 1.1 billion in a quarter four last year on account of a lower trade deficit, uh, improved surplus in the services and current uh, transfers and uh, also stronger inflows into the capital and financial accounts. Um, what has been uh, very promising to see is that FDI inflows have shown improvement uh, during Q1 this year over the first quarter last year and it's uh, good to see that import growth um, has also been moderating. Um, the authorities have, have targeted exports uh, 
of uh, US dollars 11.7 billion in 2012 and imports of uh, 20.9 billion and an FDI uh, of uh, 2 billion. We uh, do still have concerns that export earnings and uh, capital inflows may fall short of the authorities' targets, particularly if uh, global risk sentiment uh, worsens on account of uh, Greece's uh, possible exit from the euro. Um, most importantly, however, um, it is imperative that the exchange rate uh, stays competitive. That was Economist with Standard Chartered Bank and LMD columnist Samantha Amarsinger with the latest on the economy. We hope you enjoyed the show and please join us again next time.